Today, we will do a recap of 2003 American martial arts film Kill Bill. This is a story of an assassin, Beatrix Kiddo also known as Black Mamba, who is a member of Deadly Viper's squad. The Deadly Viper Assassination Squad was a disbanded group of assassins run by Bill, also known as Snake Charmer. They are all codenamed after species of snakes. B is out to avenge what happened to her four years ago in El Paso, Texas. B, the pregnant bride and her groom are having their wedding rehearsal. B did not expect Bill to arrive. He is her former lover, and the leader of their group. B introduced him to his groom as his father. She thanks Bill for understanding her, in leaving the group. She didn't know that Bill came with the deadly vipers and orders them to kill everyone. She lies wounded and crying, as Bill approaches. She tells him that the baby is his. Still, Bill shoots her in the head. The sheriff arrives and finds that she is still alive but comatose. In the hospital, her fellow assassin L. Driver, also known as California Mountain Snake, came to assassinate her through lethal injection. But at the last moment, Bill aborts the mission, because Bill considers it a disgrace to kill the defenseless B. She disagreed, but followed anyway. B wakes up from her four-year coma, and is shocked to see that she is no longer pregnant. She kills the hospital employee who has raped her while she is comatose, then takes his truck. Still having a hard time walking, she helps herself to walk again. Up for her revenge, B goes to Okinawa, Japan, to obtain a sword from Hattori Hanzo, a legendary swordsmith who has sworn never to produce a sword again. After learning that B's target is Bill, who is his former student, he changes his mind and spends a month creating the finest sword for B. Now that she has the sword, she picks her first target, Oren Ishii also known as Cottonmouth, because she is easier to find. Oren Ishii is now the leader of the Tokyo Yakuza. When she was a child, she witnessed that the Yakuza murder her parents. Oren took revenge on the Yakuza boss and took over him after training as an elite assassin. B finds Oren at a Tokyo restaurant. She cuts off the arm of her assistant, Sophie Fatale. She fights and defeats the Crazy 88. which is O-Ren's squad of elite fighters. She also kills her bodyguard, Gogo Yubari, before she is able to get to O-Ren. They fight in the restaurant's Japanese garden. B slices off the top of O-Ren's head that kills her. She tortures Sophie for information about Bill and the other assassins. B leaves her alive to let Bill and the other Vipers know that she is out to kill them. Her next stop is the home of Vernita Green also known as Copperhead. She plans to kill Vernita who now leads a normal suburban family life. The two engage in a knife fight. Vernita shoot B with a pistol hidden in a box of cereal but misses. B then throws a knife into Vernita's chest, killing her. Bill finds Sophie and asks her if B knows that her daughter is alive. The question was left unanswered and then Bill goes to his brother Bud, one of the deadly vipers, also known as Sidewinder. Bill warns Bud that B is coming to kill him, and as expected, B arrives at Bud's place. Having killed the Vipers, O-Ren and Vernita, B plans to ambush him. Bud shoots her with a non-lethal blast of rock salt that cripples and sedates her. He keeps her sword, then calls L Driver, to sell B's unique sword for $1 million. L agrees but she wants B to suffer to her last breath. When B wakes, she finds herself tied up and sees that Bud's friend is done digging her grave. The two pick her up but she resists. Bud assures her that she is going underneath the ground, if she continues to resist, he will spray the can mace in her eyeballs. She calms down and Bud buries her. 
Inside the coffin she remembers the time when she was young and Bill tells her about the five-point palm exploding heart technique that only the legendary martial arts master Pai Mei knows. It is a death blow that Pai refuses to teach his students. If it's properly used, the attack is supposed to make an opponent leave, and can only take five steps before dying. Bill takes her to Pai's temple for training. Pai mocks and torments her during training, but she eventually gains his respect. B removes the boots from her feet, reaches for it, and takes the blade inside. She cuts the rope in her hand, and uses Pai's techniques to escape from the coffin, and reach the surface. L arrives at Bud's trailer not knowing that B is watching her. Bud tells L that he buried B on the grave under the name of Paula Schultz. Bud is so happy to see the money but he was killed by Black Mamba hidden inside the bag of money. L calls Bill and tells him that B has killed Bud and that she has killed B. She gives Bill instructions where to find her grave, and the name it is under which is Paula Schultz. As L leaves the trailer, B attacks her and they fight. B asks L, who was also taught by Pi, the reason why the master snatched out her eye. L informs her that she called him, a miserable old fool. L ridicules B by revealing that she killed Pi by poisoning his meal. B plucks out her remaining eye and leaves her wailing in the trailer with the black mamba. Now, on to Bill. B goes to Acuna, Mexico, where she meets with Esteban Vijayo, a retired pimp and a friend of Bill's mother. Esteban informs her where to find Bill. She goes to Villa Cuatro Hotel in Salinas, where Bill stays. B enters the room and is surprised to see her daughter, four-year-old BB is alive. They were playing possum when she came and when it's over, she hugs and kisses BB. Bill informs B that he told BB she was asleep, and talks more about BB and her. B puts BB to sleep and goes out of the room. Bill is waiting for her and suggests having a sword fight on the Hacienda's beach. B attacks him. Bill shoots her but misses, saying he's just messing with her. Bill told her that he has questions for her and needs a truthful answer so he shoots him with a dart, containing truth serum and starts mocking her for being a renegade killer and that won't change, wherever she goes. He asks her if she thinks her life in El Paso is gonna work. And she replies no, but she would have had her daughter. Bill thinks that she could be a good mother, but she is a killer. Another question he asks is, does it feel good to kill those people before getting to him? And she said yes, those are just warm-up questions though, he tells her. What he wants to understand is why B ran away with his child. She told him that she was sick on the morning she left for her last assignment. She threw up on the plane, so she decided to have a pregnancy test and found out she was pregnant. She didn't know then that she was spotted, and her target Lisa Wong sent someone to assassinate her. B was so scared for her baby so she made a deal with the assassin that they will both leave and go home. B explains to Bill that since she is pregnant, she can no longer do the things she used to do. She has to leave the deadly viper squad, because she is going to be a mother, and to give her child a better life. Bill wonders why she didn't tell him then. B was afraid that he would claim the child if he knew. Bill explains that he thinks she was dead when she didn't come back after the last assignment. He assumes that Lisa Wong or somebody else had killed her. He mourned her for three months, and in the third month of mourning, he tracked her down. Not her intentionally, he was trying to track down the ones he thought killed her. Then, he found her. Alive, getting married to someone, and pregnant. Bill admits he overreacted and ordered her assassination. They argue about Bill's overreaction when he found out everything. Bill emphasizes that he is a killer, and there are consequences to breaking the heart of a murdering bastard like him. Bill wants to know if his reaction is really that surprising. She agreed and never thought that he would do that to her. Bill apologizes to her for thinking otherwise. The two begin to fight. B 
B traps Bill's sword in her scabbard when he attacks her and she strikes him with the pie's five-point palm exploding heart technique. Bill was surprised, he didn't know that Pai taught her that technique. Bill takes five steps to leave, then falls dead on the sixth. B and BB leave. She is so grateful to have BB and start a new life with her. That ends today's story. Thank you for watching Movie Recap. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and turn on the notification bell for more videos like this.